Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side uh, BC is uh, 22 units. And moreover, this angle uh, BAC is 45 degrees. And the angle uh, ACB is uh, 22.5 degrees. And now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. And we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. So therefore I have drawn this uh, segment uh, BD such that uh, this angle ABD is our uh, 90 degrees angle. And now we know that the sum of uh, three interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. We know this angle is 45 degrees, uh, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And we can see this is our isosceles triangle since this angle is uh, 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, AB has got to be equal to this side uh, BD. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see this angle is our uh, exterior angle. Whereas uh, these angles uh, A and B are our opposite uh, interior angles such that the angle C is going to be equal to the sum of these two interior angles A plus B. And here we can see for this uh, triangle BCD this uh, 45 degrees uh, angle is going to be our exterior angle and this uh, exterior angle has got to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be our uh, 22.5 uh, degrees angle as well such that uh, the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles uh, if we add them that is going to be equal to indeed 45 degrees. And now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle BCD. And we can see that this uh, triangle BCD is our isosceles triangle as well. Since this angle is 22.5 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 22.5 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side BD is going to be equal to this side uh, CD. In other words uh, these uh, two sides uh, are congruent. And in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular DE on this side uh, BC. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact as you can see in this given diagram. We can see that this uh, triangle BCD is our isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. And moreover uh, DE is the perpendicular on this side BC. Then we conclude that this segment uh, BE is going to be equal to this segment uh, EC. So therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, BE has got to be equal to this segment uh, EC. In other words uh, this point E is uh, the midpoint and we know that this uh, whole BC length uh, is 22. So therefore uh, this uh, BE length uh, has got to be 11 units and likewise uh, this uh, segment EC is going to be 11 units as well. And in this uh, next step I have created uh, this uh, auxiliary right angle uh, triangle uh, AFB such that uh, this angle uh, AFB is our uh, 90 degrees uh, angle. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big triangle uh, AFC. We know this uh, angle is 22.5 degrees. This angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees angle. So therefore uh, this whole angle has got to be 
67.5 degrees since the sum of all these three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this angle is our 45 degrees angle so therefore uh, this tiny angle uh, BAF has got to be 22.5 degrees and now in this uh, next step uh, we are going to focus on these two right triangles this right triangle uh, AFB and this uh, right triangle uh, BED and now we can see that these two right triangles, the triangle AFB and this other right triangle BED are our congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. Since this angle is 22.5 degrees and this uh, angle is 90 degrees and likewise in this uh, triangle BED this angle is 22.5 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees angle. And furthermore, uh, this side is congruent to this side. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent, so therefore we conclude that uh, this side uh, AF has got to be equal to this side uh, BE, as you can see in this given equation. And we know our uh, this uh, side BE length uh, is 11 units. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, AF length has got to be 11 units as well and finally let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC and we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 22 units whereas the height of this triangle uh, ABC is 11 units. So therefore our triangle ABC area is going to be equal to a half times our base is 22 units and our height is 11. And if we simplify and multiply this thing that is going to give us 121 square units the area of this uh, triangle ABC. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 121 square units. In other words the area of this uh, triangle ABC is going to be 121 square uh, units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.